Hi, this is Nancy Priya, CS Department, Perry Institute of Technology. This video is for BCSE students, second year, fourth semester, 2017 regulation. The video is for the subject design and analysis of algorithms, unit 4, iterative improvement, and the topic is maximum matching in a bipartite graph. So, this is actually the continuation of the previous video that I have posted. So, in that video, we have discussed about the basic introductions about matching, bipartite graph, coloring, and all that. So, in this video, I will be uh, taking an example and I will show you how you should uh, pick the maximum matching from a given graph. Okay. Uh, so, uh, this is how uh, they used to give you a matching graph actually. So, this is the actual graph I have considered a bipartite graph I have considered for matching. Bipart matching is applicable in bipartite graph. So, I have taken a bipartite graph and we are going to find the maximum matching in the bipartite graph. Okay. So, uh, they will be giving you a graph. In some cases, they will be specifying you with one or two matching edges. If not, we have to uh, calculate the matching for the whole graph. Uh, suppose if they have given uh, these two edges in this question, say for example, they have given these two edges as matching the darkened edges, right? So, other than all the edges, these two edges are darkened and these two edges they have taken as matching edges in the question itself. So, they have, as I told you in the previous video, they are going to consider the letter capital M for matching. So, matching M is given as D3 and E comma E. So, these two are the matching edges which is already taken for matching given in question. Now, what is the actual goal of the problem is you are supposed to solve the problem and find the maximum matching in this bipartite graph. So, the how, how many uh, maximum number of edges that I can match for this particular bipartite graph. Okay, we will find it now. So, by looking at the graph at first, uh, as I told you, this is a bipartite graph. So, these vertices will be considered as x vertex set and these vertices will be considered as y vertex set. So, as I told you in the previous video, bipartite graph contain two di distinct set of vertices and thus vertices that I am going to consider as these uh, top um, topmost vertices, right? These all vertices. So, I am going to consider in vertex set x. So, a, b, c, d and e will be the vertices for my x set. So, what will be my y set? All the other end of vertices. So, edges with one end I have taken it as x set and the other end will be the y set. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will be the vertices for the y set. Okay. Now, how will I find the maximum matching? Step 1, you are supposed to consider all the free vertices. What do you mean by free vertices? The vertices that are not under matching are called as free vertices. Say, say for example here, D vertex is not free, E vertex is not free, E uh, 3 is not free, E is not free and 4 is not free. Why? Because uh, those vertices are considered for matching in this particular graph. Whereas A vertex, B vertex, C vertex, 1, 2 uh, and 5 are the vertices which are said to be free. So, first step is you have to identify the free vertices and you have to move one by one through the free vertices to reach my maximum matching. Okay. Step 1. Consider the first free vertex. So, my first free vertex is A. So, uh, either you can take Y vertex set or you can take yes, X vertex set for your uh, sol uh, solvation of problem. So, here I am going to consider my X vertex set. So, my X vertex set contain A, B, C, D and E. Uh, D and E are not free. They have been already assigned with the matching. How do I say this? They have assigned these two edges are darkened, right? And these edges are incident on D and 3. And here this is incident on uh, E and uh, 4. So, these four vertices are said to be uh, non-free vertices. So, A, B and C of vertex X is said to be free. So, I am going to start from A. Then I will be checking with B, then I will be checking with C, I will be moving one by one in my vertex set X to get my maximum matching. You can either choose X or you, you can choose Y, it's your wish. Anyway, I will be getting the same answer. So, I am going to consider a vertex set X and the first free vertex that I am going to consider is A. So, let us consider the vertex A. Okay. Now, from A, look into the graph as well, side by side. Okay. 
from A, we have two edges, right? A is incident on 1 and A is incident on 2 also. So, no two edges can be taken for matching. As I told you in the previous video, say for example, if this, this is how A is represented, right? A, 1 and 2. See, if I consider edge 1 as my matching edge, I cannot consider edge this edge as my matching edge. Why? Because if I consider this edge also as my matching, my two matching edges will be uh, will become adjacent to each other. So the main constraint in matching is if I take a uh, edge for matching, that matching edge should not be adjacent with the another matching edge. Okay. So these two edges cannot be taken for matching. If I take so these two edges are adjacent uh, to each other, right? Why? Because they share the same vertex. So E1 and E2 are said to be adjacent. Why? Because they share the same vertex A. So if I consider E1 for matching, I cannot consider E2 for matching. On the other case, vice versa. If I consider E2 for matching, I cannot consider E1 for matching. Either one in these two edges should be considered for matching, not two vertices, not two edges. Okay. So, say for example, I am going to consider A21. This red uh, red uh, pen, uh, red color specifies the matching here. Okay. For your clearance, I am giving it like this. Um, I am going to consider this A21 as my matching edge. Okay, okay. I have considered as it as my matching edge. I will simply draw other uh, edges as usual. Okay. The dark black edge shows you the matching that is given in the question. And the blue lines tells you the edges, the normal edges that we have to find still more. So, since I have considered my edge uh, vertex EA as my first step, I have found one matching with one. I am specifying it with a red color. Okay, this is step one. So, already we had uh, M with vertices uh, D, 3 and E, 4, right? Already we had M with D, 3 and E, 4. So, with that, we are now adding a new pair which is A, 1. A comma 1 is my new matching that I have found now. So, in question already they have given D comma 3 and E comma 4. So, that also I will be adding and I am going to name it as MA. Since we are finding many uh, subsets, uh, you need to make a difference, right? So, the set they have given in question, take it as M small A, subscript small A. Okay. And the second set that you form, make it as MB. Okay. Okay. We will go to the next step. Now, the free vertices A is over. Now, I am moving to the next free vertex B. Okay. So, this is A to B is my, already I found it as, already I found it as uh, uh, matching. Now, look at B. You can see the previous graph as well. No need to confuse. You can see the previous step. Okay. Look at the B. B has only one edge that is incident on 1. B has only one edge that is incident on 1. So, say for example, if I take this uh, B to 1 as matching, the matching rule breaks here. Why? Because if I take B to 1 as matching, these two edges will become adjacent to each other and the matching edges cannot be adjacent as per the rule. Therefore, I cannot take B to 1. But still, when you go back and iterate to the previous thing, this is called as iteration, right? So, when I go back and check for this step, A has two edges. So, A is incident on 1 and A is as well incident on 2. I have considered A to 1 as my matching edge here. If suppose, say for example, I choose my A to 2 as my matching edge instead of choosing A to 1. So, instead of choosing A to 1, if I choose A to 2 as my matching edge, now there is a possibility for choosing B to 1 as my matching edge now. 
So if I choose A to 1 as my matching edge, B to 1 cannot be in my matching edge. Why? Because they become adjacent. So instead of A to 1, if I choose A to 2 as my matching edge, I can draw B to 1 as my uh, next matching edge. Why? Because these two are not adjacent, right? They are not incident on any other edges that is nearby. So they are not incident to each other. So they are not adjacent also. So we can take these two edges as my matching edge. Okay. All other will be the same. So, you will be having an edge to C as well here and this one and this one and this one. Hope you are clear at this part. So, now what will happen to my matching set? It will be improving to the next step. So, I will be taking it as MC and my matching set will be. Now, my matching set will be. It is not A to 1 which I found in the previous set. My, it has been revised now. It is updated now. And my set will be A to 2 and B to 1 and the other two which is given in the question D to 3 and E to 4. Okay. Hope you are clear. So, we are going a backtracking. Even you can consider it as a backtrack. Go and check. Backtrack it. If there is another possibility so that you can pay a way for the next vertex, you can change it and make a way for it and make a... Why? Because why we are doing this is we have to find the maximum matching. If I take A to 1 alone without choosing A to 2 in the sense, you cannot have one more vertex B to 1, one more edge B to 1 as matching. So our maximum goal is to find the maximum number of edges for the bipartite graph. So, what are all the possibilities for that? We have to uh, keep that in mind and keep on iterating and checking whether uh, any other uh, vertices or edges are possible for that. Okay. Next, we will go to the next step which is step 3. In this, I will be considering vertex C. So, in the first step, I considered vertex A, second step B and now third step which is I am going to consider the free vertex C. So, uh, from the previous step, this will be your graph. So, A to 2 will be uh, one matching edge and B to 1 will be the other matching edge. So, all other edges will be like this. So, I have taken as such from the previous, uh, we have taken as such from the uh, previous graph. We can have a note of it if you want. See, the same graph. Previous graph is we had edge from A to 2. Next, we had from B to 1. All other are the same okay so with this we can compare and my next step is we have to find the maximum matching with c look at c now c has two edges one is incident on one and the other is incident on three okay one edge is incident on one and the other edge is incident on three so i cannot take c to one as my matching set why c to one cannot be taken if c to one is taken as my matching edge this and this will become incident okay adjacent so this edge is already considered as matching so if i draw this edge also as my matching edge these both will become uh, adjacent to each other therefore the matching rule will be broken here therefore i cannot take c to one as my matching edge okay so let's see any other option that are available c to three C to 3 can be taken as a matching edge. If that is taken as a matching edge, the rule will be broken by uh, the uh, D to 3 edge. Am I correct? So, these two are adjacent to each other. Therefore, it will be broken. So, what I am telling you here is, you can break this edge and you can make this edge as non-matching edge. This edge is can be broken down and it cannot be considered as non-matching and instead of that d is incident on another two edges right so we can check the option of matching with another two edges so we can break this as non-matching edge so what i'm going to do here is so if i draw and matching edge here these two will become adjacent this will be broken so leave it so no need to use this way if i choose this particular edges matching edge this will be broken even though I am choosing this as my matching edge. Why? Because D has two more possibility for drawing matching. Okay. So, I am going to break this and I am going to consider D. You may have a doubt. This is given in the question, ma'am. How can I break it? See, 
this is given in the question but still our problem is to find the maximum matching so you can break that and you can find any other matching with d it doesn't form any issue there okay so i'm going to consider c to 3 as my matching and i'm going to break this one and i'm going to find for d in the next step so what will be my matching at this particular step a to 2 is one matching b to 1 is another matching c to 3 is my third matching and this matching is broken down here right so d to 3 cannot be taken here keep this is in mind so d to 3 cannot be taken here so the one more thing that is available here still is e to 4 okay so this is the matching set at this particular point okay the last step next d is over now uh, sorry c is over now d is free right d has become become a free vertex now since we have cut this uh, uh, broken down this a matching edge is non-matching edge this is not considered as matching therefore d become free vertex now okay so from the previous step i have drawn this uh, graph so a to 2 b to 1 and c to 3 are my matching edges so what are all the uh, other two which are remaining look at d look at d vertex with the previous one d has three uh, edges right one is incident on three if I draw this as matching, this is what actually given in the question. If this is an edge, this become adjacent. Therefore, I'm not going to consider that as my matching edge. I'm going to consider it as, it as my normal edge. That is not a matching edge, normal edge. Okay. Now, D to 4, we have an edge. What will happen if I take D to 4 as a matching edge? If I take D to 4 as my matching edge, this edge and this edge will become adjacent. Therefore, the matching rule is broken. But still, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take, okay, if I take D to 5 as my matching edge, the rule will not be broken. The rule will not be broken. If I take D to 4 as my matching edge, these two will become adjacent and the matching rule will be broken. So, I'm not going to consider this also. Consider the next thing, D to 5. So, if I draw a wedge from D to 5, it will not disturb any other, uh, this E to 4 also or any other vertices here. So, I am going to consider D to 5 as my matching edge. Okay. I hope you are clear here. So, D to 3 cannot be drawn. Why? Because it is ad it will become adjacent here. I cannot take D to 4 also. Why? Because E to 4 is already ad uh, matching. So, it will become matching, uh, adjacent to each other. Therefore, I am going to consider D to 5 as my matching set. So, the another matching that is given actually in the question is E to 4. So, that will be the one more matching. So, let me draw other uh, vertices as well. So, when you look into the uh, graph, you don't find any matching, uh, the red colors are all matching edges. You don't find any matching edge that is uh, adjacent to each other. Okay, this is how, this is the last step. So, we have reached the end, right? After that, we cannot search for any other edges. So, we have still, we have reached the end. Therefore, this will be the answer or this will be the maximum matching for this particular graph. So, the perfect answer, the last answer will be A to 2, B to 1. C to 3, D to 5 and E to 4. So, this will be the answer for this bipartite graph. Thus, the maximum matching for the bipartite graph is you have to pick it up and write it as M now. So, this, my, this is my final answer, right? So, M is A to 2, B to 1, C to 3, D to 5 and e to 4 so this is my final answer for uh, maximum matching for the bipartite graph hope you are clear so i have a question for you so find the maximum matching for the following bipartite graph take this graph solve it if you have any doubts you can ping me so that i can solve uh, see, uh, here you don't have uh, any matching that is given in the question. They didn't give you any matching edges. They have just given you a graph and asked you to find the maximum matching. So, you can start from either 1, 2, 3 or you can choose 4, 5, 6 as 2 sets and you can solve the problem. Okay, if you have any doubts, ping me. I'll help you out. Thank you.